Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new here. Have any of you made your Weeble ornament for this holiday season? Remember, this ornament will wobble, but it will not fall down. I'll put a link to how I made that in the video description down below. Okay, like most of you, I am in the middle of decorating my home for the holidays. And I recently found and purchased two ornaments from Walmart that I just had to have. Now, when I got them home and I went into my planning and styling, I needed to convert these in order for them to be used in a tabletop fashion. Okay, so here's what I come up with. This is very easy and I'm showing you this because just perhaps you may have purchased the same ornaments and you might want to try this in your home. So here's what I've done. I have found these cardboard cylinders. They are four inches tall and they are three and one fourths inch in diameter. Now anywhere from three to three and a half will work just as well. So you're gonna wanna get something like this. I tried glass jars on that, but they're far too smooth and we don't wanna glue this together because we'll be able to use the ornaments in something else later on that you want something to where it literally will hold and there won't be two smooth surfaces touching each other, which of course will not hold your ornament. So I also have red glitter vinyl. This is the Paper Studio uh, brand from Hobby Lobby. You could also use uh, glitter cardstock. In fact, I was gonna use that, but uh, I'm currently out of red. Uh, so I did have this and this will actually work, work well. I have already cut this to the length that I need to go around. And I do have it slightly wider because I'm just going to be trimming it up. This is just going to be hopefully very easy and quick. And as you people know, I don't do many live crafting <laughs> demonstrations like this, but here we go, let's do this. I've already pre-started my vinyl because as we all know, if we're weeding vinyl, how difficult sometimes it can be. So I'm simply going to pull some of this back and I'm going to hold it and then I don't think you really have to be that uh, straight about it but I'm going to use like there's guidelines I just want to make sure I have enough on both sides and there I've got it stuck I'm going to wrap that around I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep it down on the counter because like I said, you're seeing me do this for the first time and I'm just going to pull my vinyl and roll that cylinder around just like that and bring it on around. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove all that. There we go. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to see where it meets because I think I want to cut some of this off. I don't want it overlapping too much. And I'm not going to worry too much about the line being actually straight because mine's not going to be seen in 360 view. Uh, so it's not going to be like on a dining table where it's going to be seen from all sides. It's going to be up against the wall. I got that. And I'm just going to bring that over there. Let it stick to itself. I'll just put that there. Hold that down. And then now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut off the excess as best I can. I'll speed this up a bit. And there we have it. Beautifully covered cylinder that's perfectly going to match the ornament. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this one. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how you're going to use it. And now our cylinders are complete. As you see, I have adorned them with a little bit of white cord, which I have purchased at Walmart. I think the white and red simply set it off. And now through the magic of Christmas, you're going to see why. And these are the ornaments that I purchased. These, as I've said, come from Walmart and these actually are for hanging. You can hang them anywhere you decide that you want to hang a large ornament such as these. But as I said, I wanted them for a tabletop display. And now I have simply made a beautiful base to go with these beautiful ornaments.
Now, the thing is, these ornaments also come in various other color combinations. And this red and white stand that we've created today would also go with this ornament, which is a multicolored ornament. And it would look fabulous in this one as well. Now, last year they sold a gold and silver uh, finial ornament such as this, and I plan to create a base like this. However, I will be using the combination of silver glitter vinyl for the base and gold cording for the top and the bottom. I think these look fabulous and they really do elevate these uh, finial ornaments and they allow you to use them in a tabletop fashion. For more great information on how to style your home, check out these previous episodes shown here. Remember to like, comment, and share on these videos, and to make sure you see the next new episode, hit the subscription button and the notification bell and you will be good to go. As always, bye for now.